What's up everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascendant. In 2015, in the world of Ark, there was only the island map, and there was no such thing as cryopods. So if you wanted to tame a creature on the other side of the map, you had two choices. You either walk it across the map, or you build one of these. This type of taming watercraft monstrosity was not uncommon back in early Ark. And today we're going to build one and we're going to go out and we're going to tame some creatures and have some fun. But first, I want to show you how it all got started. So let's go. All right, folks, we got a lot to do today. We're going to get started. First thing on the list is going to be this boat. What's going on out there? That's a turtle. What's up, turtle? All right. So I went ahead and made up some materials or some, uh, went ahead and made up some building parts for the raft. And I put them in this little box right here. This was the box that was on the raft, but I moved it down off of the raft so that I could build on the raft. Can't build on the raft. If this is on the raft, I need this off here so I can build on there. Oh, so, I've got some uh, foundations, some walls, some storage and such. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit this right on the head because I did math in my head and all that good stuff. But we're going to start off with a 9x9 nine nine platform. Andy dandy K mode. I want this to be dead center of the raft. This is going to be a combo raft for transport and raft for taming pin. this right in the middle all right I'm gonna get out of K mode back in K mode right in the middle I'm gonna hold down my left click I'm gonna get out of K mode and I'm gonna slide down to sink the foundation oh look at that nice and flush I don't want anything in the driver's seat so I'm going to build this way, right there, one more, boom, that way I can still access the driver's part there, is there a fish, there's a fish, all right, jump down here, so the way I'm going to do this is in two layers, I'm going to have a layer on the bottom, that's going to be kind of like a, a living area, I guess you can call it, and so I'm going to go one wall high. Across there. There. I'll go up front. All right. I'm leaving the front open for right now, but you'll see in just a second, I'm going to close it up. Get some ceilings out. Uh, like I said, the idea is that this is going to be kind of like living space down here as I travel. It'll have some crafting bench and maybe like a campfire and, and that kind of good stuff. The part up above is going to be somewhere I can... It's basically going to be a mobile taming trap. So I want, I want this to be all hatch frames up here. The idea behind using the hatch frames like this is so that when I have larger creatures up here, I can shoot them through the through the hatch frames. So this top pin is not going to be all that beneficial for small tames, obviously. So anything that can fall through a hatch frame is not going to work out. But generally speaking, anything that's smaller, small enough to fall through a hatch frame we're just going to pick up and drop somewhere with a bird anyway. So, okay, back to the floor, ground. Now we're going to use quarter walls. I was doing some testing in a single player game and discovered that nothing at all seems to be able to cross a quarter wall. 
I made a something very similar to this raft. I built it in single player and I put, I had a, re a Rex go in there. I dropped a Giga in it, Bronto. Nothing was able to, to walk out of the, walk over the quarter walls. Uh, you can't say that that excites me really because it, <laughs> I don't know. It seems, seems broken to me, but what it means is that we can build this raft with just quarter walls up here. So this will be the entire height of, of this creation. Um, after I did my testing, I went online to see how everybody else was coming about. And actually Captain Fat Dog did a pretty good video our stream recently where he was building his Rex trap again. And, um, he showed some of the stuff I'm talking about. So if you, you want to go see somebody actually testing that, go check them out. Um, I need the ceilings, walls and the slopes. Okay. So I'm gonna back up here. Place ceilings here. Oh, I need some quarter ceilings too. I didn't think about that. Okay. Close. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. The biggest problem that I envision is that it's quite difficult to drop down on these through this hatchway hatch frame. It's kind of hard to fall through there when I'm running. So I imagine if I'm being chased by something, it's, it's going to be uncomfortable. Okay, so I got the walls. So these last bit here, I'm gonna use full walls. Like this. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll show you, I'll get the berry and show you. Come on, berry. Now, coming up this, if I run full speed, see the berry flies across that. So let me pull those walls off and I'll show you what kind of happens. There. And jump on the berry again. So what I'm going to do is get stuck under the building there. When I get to the top of the ramp, I'm going to let go of the W key. He's just gone. He's just gone. Right off the back. And he does that even with the, I don't know about, I don't know about that second jump, but he was doing it even with the quarter walls in the well, let's see and my testing was done on the ground so I don't I don't think it'd be different let's get a couple more I mean, I've already built the walls, so I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, let's see. No. Ah. All 
I guess he does stop. Okay, so half walls back there are an option. But like I said, I already made the full walls, and I actually have a kind of plan. Like I said, after I did my testing, I went and watched a couple of Captain Fat Dog videos to see his building in ASA, and I saw his new RG trap. Which, uh, anybody who's seen my Survival Evolved RG trap, you... you you got to love that one. It's super simple. It's easy to remember all the stuff you need. It's really only a few fence foundations and, um, and a gate. But if I've already got this built and I'm going to be taking it two places to tame things, I was thinking what I could do is at, if I find an RG out in the wild that I want to tame, I can just modify what I already have and boom now I'll have the RG trap uh, I say that like I revealed something grand but I didn't actually okay here we go oh, I'm starving and there now quick as we got the RG trap. So I'll have a trap for just about anything that I can imagine on my boat. And when I'm not trapping RGs, I will. Wait. What is it? Open door? There's no door there. Okay. There we go. All right, I know I flew through that kind of fast, but I hope that gives you kind of an idea of what what we have here. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna die multiple times to those ceilings. Um, I think a possible solution is that I'll change out these walls. As long as it's not something too small, Um, something that's small enough to fit through one door wide. I'll just check. Oh, I'm starving. Like major starving. I'll just change one of these to a regular door. Like that. And then I could just run straight out. That won't work if I'm doing a saber cat. Um... Actually, so the berry will go, it will go through these doors, the double doors, but not the single door. I wonder if the most chops will. It's all science. Most chops will not go through a single door either. Oh, I can't get you out of here. You don't jump. Boom. There we go. Uh, we're just about at the structure limit on the raft too, so there's not much more I can add to it. I'm going to put these crafting tables in there and some beds and some storage. But that's pretty much it. Another most chops. Um, nope. What do you want? Easel berries, and you're a girl. Getting another most chops. We'll have a breed pair and we can start getting some eggs for kibble. Oh, and a what? Wait, what? 
Oh my gosh, look at the level on that. I didn't even realize. And now we got a baby? I'm not going to be able to imprint it. It's going to grow up too fast. I have got to fix that. I have definitely got to fix that. Oh yeah, you can eat off the feeding trough now. Come on, little baby most chops. Are you a girl too? That'd be so heat. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're a boy. I thought you were a girl. It doesn't matter. You're a girl. Where's that one a girl? Oh, you're a boy too. All right. Well, we've got we've got a breed pair by mistake. Apparently. I could have swore when I looked at you, you you were Maybe it was the food thing that was colored a certain color. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to be able to imprint this guy. That's terrible. I thought I turned the interval between cuddles down. We definitely, without having the nanny, we, we're going to have to figure that out eventually. That's pretty much it. Where'd that wall go? I need to throw all this stuff down too. Bet I'm going to stick on this side. Move them. Mortar and pestle, I'm just going to kind of throw in the middle like that. Campfire right there. There we go. Didn't I have a storage? There we go. Let's throw them both down, I guess. want to put it underneath I guess I can maybe if I put it in the middle I don't I don't know I think it's gonna probably get smashed up why I, I like you turn the other way I don't like you this way. That's good enough. All right. So now I can grab taming stuff. And I'll put it in a little box. Like that. And then I can throw like, uh, I don't know, drops and stuff in the, in the big box. I wonder if I could, if, what, hmm. I'm going to make a feeding trough, I think. Oh, I can't jump over that. 
Nothing can jump over a path wall. Don't be ridiculous. You're looking better. Alright. Let's see about making a feeding trough. Um, what is it? Eight metal? Come on. I need to remember to turn these birds onto uh, passive, I guess. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go grab this green drop while I'm on here. Super hot. Somebody was telling me that fortitude is currently broken. So that it's making, um, like, if you have points on the fortitude, you're exceptionally more hot and cold than you would be otherwise. So I'll have to look at that. Possibly doing a respec. Because I have a bunch of points in the fortitude, and that might be why. I'm getting so hot all the time. All right, I think we're ready. So the first thing that I want to do is I think I want to go to Carno Island and see about getting a saber cat. Let's go ahead and let's do the points real quick. I'd like to get this up to a thousand first before anything else. And then we'll put the rest in the weight for now. But a thousand a thousand stamina is the is the big one. Alright, let's let's take our boat for a test float. Uh, let me get some berries. I'm gonna harvest, harvest some up. Hello, turtle. You have little baby turtles. Look at you. All right, back to what we were doing. Maybe I should make a forge. Do I have enough stuff to do that? I might. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a forge on the boat too. That way, if I need to smelt, smelt some metal while we're out there, we can do it. You know, for like repairing tools and such. You know, the whole reason that I put the smithy on here. All right, let's go. Heading to one of the islands. This is some extremely old school arc right here. <laughs> no cryopods, no nothing. You just take your, take your boat, you go tame some stuff, and then you got to bring it all back. See anything? Uh oh. Can I not go up that? There we go. I'm gonna have to keep in mind that I can't get up the ramp, I guess, uh, when I'm in the water like that.
All right, let's cross. There's hoping. Sometimes there's even a leads in the lagoon. Oh, that scared me. It's a bacilla. Bacillosaur, bacillosaurus, but there's a whale. It's a whale. make a ladder while I'm here. All right. Come on, Barry. Let's go. Oh, there's a, um, a Fiomia. I need one of those to make the poop. No, oh, there's baby Stego. Interesting. You know what I do not see on Herbie Island? What I do not see here are Ankies. Never mind. Here's an Anki. I need an Anki. There we go. Ah, oh, you're sleepy. Jeez. Such a jerk. Walking on stuff. I'm gonna take some of them barriers back. I don't think it should take you that many. We're going to have a Pelagornis. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a Pelagornis. It's going to be ours. Possibly. <laughs> What's wrong? Manta. I think it'll eat the prime. Let's go see if we can get some prime fit. Yay. All right, what about the babies? this baby yeah look at that the levels just shot right up okay come over here 234 233 did that shark just come on land happening um i think there might be a slight overspawn of sharks so i should tame that one oh <laughs> 
I don't know why they sound like that when they die, though. Oh! No! Oh my lord. It was almost a disaster. I wonder how I can trap that thing. All right, let's see if I can, if I can trap this guy. buddy oh my lord it can't possibly take this many arrows to knock out a shark We got it. All right, let's go get that other one. So tough now. Um, I guess you're kind of, yeah, you are kind of tough, aren't you? All right, Megalodon. What do I need to get for you? How much health did it have left? 600 health. Oh my gosh, look at this menagerie of creatures. I'm... What'd that say? My lord. What did you eat? You ate the fish meat. Wait. That was from one fish meat? I, I really don't know what I really don't know what happened what, what was that we had pigs falling out of the sky yeah I really don't know what happened because when when I got in the boat I think I said something to the effect of let's go over to Carno Island and get a saber cat and now about 30 minutes later We have three Fiomias, a Pelagornis, which I'm ecstatic about because this this is a victory. This purple bird is a victory. I didn't think it would ever happen. I didn't think we would ever get one, but there it is. But Pelagornis, three pigs, and a shark. I, I don't know. I don't know. So let's take the pigs up here. Is that all three pigs? That's all three pigs. Oh, hello.
Oh, a Gornis? I wonder if I can get you to walk. I cannot. But I might be able to get you to follow this guy. Yep, there we go. And the shark, I don't know. I don't know what to do about the shark. I guess it's just going to have to follow behind us. Hopefully it doesn't get eaten by a bunch of other sharks. Maybe I'll just leave it here and hope it doesn't get eaten by sharks. I really don't know what to do with it. I didn't... Probably not the smartest idea for me to tame it. But I did. Because it's right there. Really? Okay. You're just gonna just gonna murder stuff right there, I see. I don't think there's anyone out there that wouldn't call cryopods a huge convenience. They make taming and they make storing dinos super easy. But there's something to be said for doing it the old school way too. It encourages you to come up with more creative solutions to things rather than just flying over there, cryopodding it, and coming back to base. Things like this raft and the rafts that other people are building. I've enjoyed using it and uh, there's a lot more taming to do still. You'll get to see that in the next video. But until then, take it easy.